purpose of this cycle? What's the purpose of this cycle? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Dreams. Dreams. So the first part of this piece, the composer's crazy, and he wrote this piece to set you up for that dream, and we talked about this. So you're in that first daisy part, you're falling asleep. You're falling asleep. And you're on a cloud, it's a nice day, you're stretched out, and you're on a, the fluffiest cloud there is. Then we go into the second movement, I Dream a World. You are deep in your sleep. You are very, very deep in your sleep. The text is very deep, all right? Um, I Dream a World where black or white, whatever race you be, that will share the bounties of this world and every man is free. Langston Hughes wrote this text for a reason. What was going on during Langston Hughes' time? Um, black. What, what's the word? Segregation. Segregation. Mm. Segregation. All right. So he wrote this piece saying that I don't care what race you are. You can be purple, green, pink. Yeah yellow polka dot, whatever you are, that we will share this world together. Yes. So it's this Trish Joyce. I'm the founder and the artistic director of the New Jersey Youth Chorus. 25th anniversary season this year, yes. Uh, for all the choirs, we have a gala coming up on April 30th. Um, our two oldest choirs, Cariste and also Camerata, which is our older choir for um, boys with changing and changed voices, will be on the program. We have some of our alumni coming back to sing as part of the program, um, those who have pursued performance as a career. We also have our directors and accompanists on our program, um, and of course we're inviting our alum families or anybody from the community uh, to come and help us celebrate. Um, Carista, our Elder Girls Choir, will finish off our season with a tour to Vienna and Budapest. Um, so it's, it's really a big year for us. Uh, we have actually uh, choristers in our program who come from about 30 or 35 different towns in our community, six different counties. It's definitely a commitment. Um, it's a commitment to the, to the program. They make a commitment really to each other in the ensemble. It's a commitment to the director and the accompanist so that we are truly working as a team. And we actually really like to call ourselves a family. We call it the NJYC Choir family.